Welcome to Oklahoma Territorial Capital Sports Museum. We're here with Coach Enos Seymour, former coach at Bacon Junior College and the University of Oklahoma, and is part of the Oklahoma Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame. Coach, glad to have you here. And uh, you. this is a book that's just come out on you, The Man from Red Hill. And uh, this is an interesting book about your coaching career and, and life, but we're glad to have you here. Now tell us about this team from Baycomb. How you started at Baycomb, how this team developed, and won this national championship 50 years ago. The amazing thing about that group was we lost three of our best players before we left. One, two of the draft, and then two that got hurt. But guys filled in, and we went up there, a school about 250, 300, and we're playing against teams uh, like uh, uh, Phoenix, Miami-Dade North, had 20 or 20,000. Uh, student body. Amazing bunch of guys really and uh, we end up winning the national championship 47 and 3 record. Historically Oklahoma has had a lot of great baseball players come from small towns. We'll be putting a, t a picture of this team up in the museum because that's what this museum is about is honoring outstanding Oklahoma players teams and using their influence in a positive way to motivate kids to take their ability and be successful. That's great, uh, and it'd really be good. Uh, I had a lot of great teams. Uh, I had a lot of great teams at OU. Right. But, uh, we're talking about Bacon and uh, the five years there. Uh, I had some teams that did so much more than they were supposed to, and not because of me either. I'm not taking all the credit for that, but uh, and I didn't know it till we went back. And I think I told you that uh, one of them mentioned that uh, said, "Coach, we we never lost more than six games in one year." Well, I'm getting to do this a lot. <laughs> if they're winning like that for me, I'm having a good time. But uh, the guys were really, uh, and I used to, used to tell players, you know, you got to be willing to pay the price if you want right. to give yourself a chance. And I had guys that did, that really pushed it, and uh, they got along well as a team. So, uh, Bacon, uh, I was there five years, and then I came to the University of Oklahoma. Lived on campus, a lot of good people. A lot of friends there and a lot of good players that went through there while I was there. Well, another one of our inductees in the uh, Coaches Hall of Fame here at the museum is Gene Stevenson. Gene assisted you at the University of Oklahoma, is that correct? Gene and I, we really did well. I mean, Gene was a worker. He knew baseball, but he was willing to get out there and try to help recruit too. Of course, we went to Omaha uh, five years in a row and we had a little better coaching. We might have won up there. but. Uh, had a lot of great players there, guys who would pay the price, and guys who got a good education, and uh, it's always great to see all of them. And it was really important to me, too, they were good people, really good people to work with, and uh, they're still good people. And we've had some reunions, uh, Bacon and OU, and it's great. We have honored you here with this Hall of Fame and for your coaching career, and now we're going to honor one of your teams, and uh, we're proud of you and uh, uh, the guys that have come out from under your tutoring in baseball and uh, have been very successful and you've got some that are still playing and coaching in the big leagues right now. Yeah, we do. And uh, one of them I met last week at John Russell. He is oh, bench yeah. coach for the Orioles and uh, the Orioles mm -hmm. uh, gifted a jersey of John's to the museum and I brought it back last week to put on display. Well, every here. time I come in here I look around and uh, you've added, added to it. I don't know where you get all your uh, pictures and balls and everything that you have here, but this is awesome. Uh, this much, how you collected this much is uh, amazing. Well, but I appreciate what you're doing for that team. It's because yeah. of what, uh, we've got great athletes and great uh, uh, coaches in Oklahoma. We and do uh, that. They want to be recognized and should be recognized. And we continue to try to recognize uh, the ones that deserve to be and, and have a positive influence for kids and fans that come in here. Fans enjoy it. and. Uh, hearing about the team. and So thank you very much, Coach, for you all you've you. done. I appreciate you uh, going to do that for that Bacon team because uh, it wasn't because of me, but they, they were an amazing team, and what they did beating all those teams up there was uh, something else. 